What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and today I wanted to go over the six classes on PlayStation that are going to be released with Black Desert and go over which class, not to suggest which class you should pick, but more on give you a little bit of an idea so that you know which class that you should pick going uh, into the game. I know which class I'm going to be picking um, and I'll discuss that later on in the video. I'm no expert at Black Desert by any means. Um, I always wanted to play it, and when it came out on Xbox, uh, I have given it a fair go. Um, still have plenty to learn about it and all of that different stuff, but I thought I would give you guys at least my opinions from what I would still consider a decently Black Desert, you know, intermediate to beginner player uh, still trying to learn all the stuff that has to do it with my sorceress main on xbox uh, which i'll discuss her at the very end but let's go ahead and kick this off there'll be some random gameplay in the background probably i'll probably show the trailer for playstation first and then i'll show some random sorceress gameplay or ninja that just came out on xbox one of those will be the background gameplay but first, I would like to talk about the Berserker. Uh, he has the biggest character model in the game, and if you haven't played Black Desert or seen it, you will notice Berserkers immediately. They're gigantic in comparison to the other character models. Uh, and you can, you can easily tell when you're standing somewhere who's a Berserker and who's not. Uh, he uses two double axes, uh, and after Awakening, he uses an Iron Buster sword. And while we don't know when Awakening will come to PS4, it's still something to know uh, if you're going to main a character for a long time because it will come fairly soon after release and obviously that hits at level 56. You'll do a small Awakening quest, takes about a half hour, maybe a little bit less. And uh, once you complete that, you'll unlock your Awakening weapons and uh, start working on Awakening skills. Um, he's not exactly a traditional tank character, but he's one of the few characters that can act like a tank within Black Desert with no real tank characters being available in Black Desert. Uh, he's one of the few uh, that uh, can work as such, uh, but he's more of a frontline unit than a tank, I would say, and as a frontline unit... Uh, he excels in group fights uh, and sieges where the Berserker can lock down large groups. Uh, his playstyle is what his name would you would think from the name Berserker. He wild, wild spins, grabs, smashes, just pretty much destroys anything in front of him. He does tend to struggle in solo 1v1 PvP, and a lack of an ability to disengage and get out of a fight hurts his survivability, giving you really only one option to kill the person in front of you or be killed. Um, with He just doesn't lack dashes or um, quick movements and teleports to get out of scenarios, so you mostly have to win the fight in front of you or you'll die. But he has one of the higher attack strengths and DPS and like one-on-one -on -one close range DPS potentials of any character. And so with that, it allows him to have some survivability by, by being able to kill some of the squishier characters uh, in the game. This class is one of the better options for beginners. Uh, it has easy to play skills and combos. It doesn't provide a whole lot in terms of expert level late gameplay, which is not fantastic. Um, if you're looking to stick with Black Desert, it could be a great first character. Black Desert is a game where you can easily have multiple characters um, that you main. I mean, you have your one main main, and then you can have plenty of alts uh, that you play with level 56 being easily progressed to. Uh, if you put enough effort into it into a day, you can easily do it in a day. But realistically, you know, if you have a couple hours of game time each day, you you can probably get to 56. I don't know. We'll say you we'll say you play two hours a day. You can probably get there in easily a week. Um, you can get to 56 and get their awakening weapon. So that's all on the Berserkers. Let's move on to the other male melee class, and that is the character probably the most new player friendly because of the shield and sword that he uses. Uh, he's one of the very few classes in BDO that can completely mitigate and block all frontal damage. This allows a bit of forgiveness if you make a mistake or make a bad decision. Um, I'm talking about the warrior class, um, and it's kind of your traditional sword and shield class. Um, the PvP potential uh, for this character is pretty middle of the road. It doesn't provide much in terms of support skills for group PvP, but a survivability with the shield and decent crowd control uh, helps make it viable 
and it fares decently well in 1v1 1v, 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 1 PvP, but doesn't overly excel over other classes. Like I said, kind of a middle-of-the-road class. Uh, unlike the Berserker, uh, the Warrior is both new player-friendly and allows for a challenging class to perfect, which is really nice. Um, it, it has some more expert-level uh, gameplay that you can strive for uh, in the end game. Its awakening weapon is a great score. It's a great sword, uh, which brings me back to memories of of Dark Souls uh, with that traditional Dark Souls character with a sword and shield or with a heavy, heavy great sword. Um, that's kind of what it brings. That's what that's what it makes me think of when I uh, when I play through or when I see warrior gameplay. I haven't actually played a warrior um, because I just viewed it as the basic basic sword and shield class but it does have a lot more abilities and a lot more uh, potential for play than than i expected over um just seeing the name and basic gameplay before seeing some more elevated and, and end game stuff with it next is the wizard and the first female class we're going to talk about which is the witch they both play relatively the same and while they're not exactly the same overall for a new player um they're relatively the same. Uh, they both get the Godder Sphera for the Wizard and Odd Sphera for the Witch. Uh, they both use a Staff and Dagger. Uh, they show off mostly in group play with their healing and survivability, along with high damage potential uh, to groups. Um, they struggle mightily in solo PvP, um, where their, their uh, spells are slow and they take a while to use, leaving them open for high damage intake um, and easy to hit targets. I mean, really easy if you're just standing there casting a spell. And movement cancels spells. Uh, too much movement, I guess, cancels spells. That's why you can't, that's why it makes you such an easy target to hit. They struggle a little bit in solo PvE, but if you stock enough potions and um, make sure to use plenty of the lightning skill, um, the lightning skill is a chain lightning skill and it's very good for uh, PvE um, crowd, kind of PvE crowd control. I guess, there, there's not really a better way to say it. PvE crowd control is probably the way I would say. Um, and, and it has potential to hit a lot of different enemies. And so that's kind of your best bet if you're doing solo PvE. But if you stock up on enough potions, it uh, it works out. You can heal yourself and uh, make it a very viable class for PvE. Uh, they're pretty forgiving uh, in PvE and easy to learn for new players. Uh, and so they allow for significant growth as well as the player progresses and uh, becomes a better player and learns more, uh, which is which is nice. They they. Uh, they can get to be a little bit boring, um, is kind of the consensus on them late game, but there are people that absolutely love them. And so if you like a ranged mage class, uh, I think this is, it's a very good class. Uh, you just want to make sure with whatever you pick that you're cool with it um, for extended amount of times if you're going to progress it late into high levels. Uh, because there's a lot of PvE grinding to get XP if you're going to be doing that. Especially if you're not as heavy into PvP as I am. Uh, a lot of these, uh, a lot of the thought that went into this is what character am I going to have fun with over the long haul? Or what character am I going to have fun with the awakening uh, skills and weapons? Because if I'm doing a lot of PvE, that's a lot of farming mobs and stuff like that. And... For the Witch and Wizard, if you're not in a group, even in a group, it can get pretty boring. Um, from my time playing as a Witch, I leveled her to like 50, level 50, which isn't Awakening yet, but I leveled her before Awakenings were available on Xbox. Um, and so it's it's kind of a personal call you have to make on the Witch or the Wizard. But let me move on to the next class. That is the class that I'm going to be maining on PlayStation 4 when the game releases, and that is Ranger. She's a strong single target DPS character. She uses a longbow as her main weapon with an offhand dagger as her secondary. Her awakening weapon is what I'm looking the most forward to. That's the Camisylvan Sword, which turns her into a high speed and high octane melee character, putting out high P DPS. Uh, but I'll get back to the Ranger class at launch since that's what we are here to talk about. She has some great stun AoE skills that stuns groups of enemy. Being able to control your enemies is one of the key, main keys of playing her, and stun skills help in doing so. Uh, in PvP, you can be a serious threat 
if you're able to use your skills to avoid damage. If you're taking too much damage, her viability in PvP goes down. So you need to be able to master um, kiting enemies and using her skills to avoid her movement skills to avoid damage and uh, create distance if you're depending on which if you're using her awakening weapon or her bow uh, it kind of depends but you need to limit the damage you're intaking she's a pretty squishy character and so she has a decently hard learning curve but nothing nothing like the class that i mained on xbox um and she has good viability in pve um, it makes her a little bit harder because she's more of a single target DPS character. But she does have some skills to help in PvE. Moving on to the final class, and that is the class that I mained on Xbox, and that is the Sorceress. So I fell in love with the Sorceress when I saw her awakening weapon was the Scythe. Um, but don't let that... Don't let that distract you from the the amulet and the talisman she uses pre-awakening. I love, I loved, or I, I picked her for the scythe, but I felt, I kind of fell in love with her ability to use the claws, the, the shadow claws that she uses with the um, amulet. They're really cool. Um, they have a lot of different viability, different skills that incorporate them. And I really like them. She is one of the most challenging, probably the most challenging class of the initial six that are expected to launch on PlayStation. Uh, I still haven't quite mastered her and don't claim to be an expert, really. But I did level her to her awakening and have a preset rotation of skills that I use. Um, and she has great movement and is great for 1v1 PvP. She does lack some skills in defense to make her the, the top of the top in PvP. Uh, but her her damage potential, movement, and use of her crowd control abilities with her high damage uh, can really make her high level in PvP. It's kind of how much high level gameplay are you with the Sorceress dictates how useful she is in PvP. Um, if you're an expert Sorceress with perfect movement and combos and, and crowd control, she's one of the best characters for PvP. But if you're like me, middle of the road... Uh, player of sorceress um, her viability in pvp goes down a little bit just because you aren't using her to her full potential um, and that's kind of what makes her a difficult character to play is a lot of her skills are hard to use hard to learn she's just a hard character to play um, but she's a fun character to play i've really enjoyed my time with her i'm still working on getting better with her every day um, and so hopefully maybe in the month when the PlayStation comes out, I'll be I'll be an expert sorceress. Who knows? Um, but uh, the main thing with the sorceress is you have to get down a rotation. Her skills, her the main skills that I like to use have a long cooldown. N n some of them have a really long cooldown, like 30 seconds. But some of them are like seven, eight seconds. But with seven and eight second cooldowns, they're a little bit longer than just using skills and then they're refreshed by the time that you finish all your rotation of skills and so that's where i'm saying you got to kind of find your rotation for her of different skills when you're gonna use witch attack and stuff like that it takes a little bit of practice to get used to her but you can get a simple rotation like i have uh which is i believe it's lt and b and then right bumper creates the slam then i use my shard ability one swing into my awakening um and then either the awakening the awakening has like an orb summon that you push forward sometimes i'll go into that or sometimes i'll just go into the spindle winds with the uh, awakening weapon and then switch back and i should be able to do my ability again there's a timing to it um there's kind of an exact science timing to my rotation that i can't really explain over the mic but uh if you watch a few of my sorceress videos you'll see the timing but uh that's gonna do it guys i hope you all enjoyed i'm looking forward to the playstation release this is not actually official but uh someone did make a video talking about the six classes and black deserts twitter retweeted it so i'm going to assume these are the six classes we're getting at launch and it's going to follow a probably similar but quicker roadmap than the xbox um but we'll see. We don't have an official roadmap yet. Look for that in the upcoming days. I'll go over it when it finally drops, hopefully. Um, and if we're going to get any more classes on the PlayStation on launch, I will be sure to come back and talk to them as I have a lot more experience with the Musa, Lawn, Dark Knight, 
um, Striker, Ninja, and Shy than I do with the initial five or initial six. I've only played Sorceress, Ranger, and Witch. I haven't played any of the other ones, and so my knowledge of them is a little bit lower. But that's going to do it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.